You know Jim Defeaty, he's sitting here with us now, um, and, and I'm just, you know, as we take a look at these pictures, uh, you, you're reminded that, that a lot of the officials here who are overseeing uh, and monitoring the situation here have experience uh, uh, dealing with, with these types of storm systems, perhaps not as strong as this one, which is historical in its mm -hmm. strength, uh, but we've been down this road before. We have, and, and as I sort of said the last time I was out here, there is no part of the country that is better prepared to handle an event like this than South Florida. We learned the hard way through Hurricane Andrew what it entails to not be ready. And yes, there, 25 years is a long time. There are a lot of people who are living here today who had never experienced Andrew, but I think the story gets told enough. The images remain you know, ever present for people, even the new arrivals who come here from New York or from other parts of the world. You know, you see it, you understand it, and you can feel it, and your neighbors will tell you about it. Exactly. I was going to say, everyone probably knows someone, at least, who, who experienced Andrew, and we've all mm -hmm. heard those horror stories. We, we, you have been in touch, I know, with one of the former directors of FEMA, uh, and, and this is a gentleman who, who came in and, and really helped out with the, the back end after, after the devastation of Hurricane Katrina. David Paulison was the Miami-Dade fire di director for a long time. He came in just before Hurricane Andrew. Uh, he was then tapped by then-President Bush to come in after Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans. He came in and dealt with the, cover, uh, with the, with the recovery of that, of that event. And and he's on the phone with us right now, so let's bring in David Paulson. Chief, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? Uh, Chief, I know that you're here in Broward. Your, your family is here. You're here. You're going to ride out this storm here in South Florida. Give us your professional and personal assessment as you're watching the news and watching Hurricane Irma. What are you thinking right now? Well, this is going to be a, a, a bad storm. I mean, that's uh, totally obvious. Everyone knows that. Uh, we decided to stay put. Uh, we've got a, a new roof in the house. We've got a generator. We've got uh, food, water. Uh, you know, all my kids are gathering here, and the grandkids. And uh, I think we're going to be in good shape. It's, uh, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be easy. Uh, this is not going to be one of those storms you get through, and the next day you clean a few branches up and you go on. Uh, if we look at the pictures of what I'm sure you've already shown, uh, the pictures of what happened in Andrew, the roofs were gone. There was not a leaf on the tree. Anybody went to Key Biscayne saw that it looked like something that was just it was just like charcoal. It was not a not a green thing anywhere. So uh, if we get the brunt of the storm, um, it's it's gonna, not going to be a pretty sight at all. People better better be ready, uh, or they better be in a shelter. And it, interesting that you chose to hunker down and wait out the storm with your family. What was kind of the decision making factors for you? I tell you what, why we made the decision. It was the um, what we did after Andrew was looking very carefully at, at our building codes and why did those buildings fail? Why did brand new buildings like Country Walk and other new areas, why did they fail? And we changed our building codes. We worked very hard. We, you know, we had to fight tooth and nail. It was, it was, it was not an easy fight. It was a very difficult fight uh, to change how we tie our roofs down, what kind of materials we use, how do we fasten our windows in, how do we Fasten our doors and the doors now swing out instead of in, like we saw in that building, Andrew. And because my home meets all those things, I felt, you know, I need to ride this out here. I need to make see are these codes going to work like we like think they're going to work? Uh, because we only have 16 states across the country with statewide building codes. And Florida is one of the best. Well, Director Paulson, just the fact that you have your family there with you, including your grandchildren, signals to me that you pre feel pretty confident uh, that you guys are going to come out of this on the other side in, in a very safe way. But I'm sure there are a lot of people here in South Florida doing the same thing that you're doing with your family. They're going to hunker down at home. Can you give us a sense as the storm begins to, to, to pick up, the winds begin to pick up, exactly what you'll be doing inside your house, where you'll position everybody, how you'll prepare yourself for the worst of this? Once we get to the, once we get to the storm start coming in, there's nobody, nobody goes outside. We're done with that. You're not going to peek. You're not going to do anything else. The shutters are up. Uh, you know, we're tied down tight. Everything is picked up. It's taken in the house. It can fly around. We're, we're, so that's that's finished. And so we will we will gather in uh, the safest place of the house. We have interior rooms with no, no exterior walls. Uh, you know, all of our outside doors are, are tight, shut tight. All the windows are covered. And in all of our interior doors, we will shut all of those also. In case a, a part of the roof comes off, we can isolate the damage by just by closing your interior doors. 
Chief, it seems like this storm has a little bit of everything for everyone. It seems like you've got a situation where you're going to have the high winds like you had with Hurricane Andrew. You're going to have the storm surge, which you haven't seen here in a long time. And depending on which side of the storm we're on, we could also see heavy rainfall. Which of those elements worries you the most? Is it the wind? Is it the rain? Is it the surge? Well, Jim, that usually depends on where you are. For me, I'm in western Brunner County. Uh, I worry about the high winds. We're not going to have the storm surge. The rains are okay. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about that part. We're not going to flood. Uh, but I worry about the high winds. And is the roof going to going to hold and going to withstand these winds based on the codes that we put in place? But in general, thinking more generally, what is it that, that that what's the worst part of a hurricane? Is it the wind? Is it the water? Is it the surge? Is it the rain? When you're just looking at this, just take a step back for a second. What's the worst part of this storm that worries you the most? Again, it, it, for me, it's a, it's the wind. Uh, but you know, if you're close to the coast, it's going to be the tidal surge. Uh, if you're in an area that floods, it's going to be the rain. Uh, I'm in an area that doesn't flood, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, but I am worried about the high winds. You know, what is it going to do to my roof? What's it going to do? You know, I've got a screen enclosure of my pool it, that went down in Wilma, which wasn't a big hurricane. So we beat that up. So I want to see how these things perform. So I'm just worried about the high winds more than anything. That, uh, that's the part that scares me. And one quick question before we let you go. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if there's anything you feel that the news media that we have not emphasized enough in terms of people staying safe in their homes, the ones who are hunkering down. Is there anything else that maybe people are not thinking about that you would emphasize to keep them safe here in South Florida? I, I think you've done a great job. I've been listening to your, to your shows, and uh, you've been telling people to do the right things. And the main thing is to... Keep your family safe. Don't do, you know, I got to quote Joe Lonray, he says, that, you know, it's a, just, you know, uh, get off of stupid. Don't do stupid things. You know, if, if the trees are down, you know, leave them down for now. Where do you, where do you have a lot of rest before you decide to get that chainsaw up? Good don't advice. Put that generator, yeah, don't put that generator in the house. This is a foreign object to people. Some have never even used them before. We have fatalities with, uh, with carbon monoxide, we have fatalities with people setting their houses on fire with candles. So, you know, just take a deep breath, let, let the storm do what it's going to do, and then after it's all over, wait till the winds die down and then assess your damage. But, you know, just take care of yourself and your family. That's the most important thing.